Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at this um, one. It's a requested question. So an algebra one of the 2016 mock. Solve the inequality, 3x minus one is over x plus one is less than or equal to five over three. Okay, so the important bit about inequalities is that when you're getting your common denominator, it must be the term on the left, it must be it squared. Okay, so if there was an equals to sign here, my common denominator would be three times x plus one. Because it's an inequality, my common denominator is actually three times x plus one squared. Why? Because um, the sign in front of x has an effect on the direction of the inequality. If it's a minus x and you're solving for x, it will end up changing the direction of the inequality. If it's a plus x, it won't have any effect. So by squaring the left-hand term, we are forcing the situation where it is definitely going to be a positive value because anything squared is always positive and therefore we will never have to change the direction of the inequality because of the sign in front of x. Okay, so I'm going to multiply across by x plus 1 squared times 3. Multiply that by what's on top is less than or equal to x plus one squared times three times five over three. Okay, so an x plus one there will cancel with one of the x plus ones on that side. The three here cancels with the three here. So let's multiply out. I'm gonna multiply these two brackets first and then multiply by my answer by, by, by this one. So I end up with three x plus three there times 3x minus 1 is less than or equal to 5 times x plus 1 squared is x plus 1 by x plus 1. Okay, so 3x by this bracket plus 3 by this bracket. So 3x by 3x, 9x squared, 3x minus 1 minus 3x plus 3 by 3x is plus 9x plus 3 by minus 1 is minus three. Right, let's have a look on this side. So I need to do the x plus one squared before I do the five because of BOMDAS. Okay, the O for order or E if you're exponential comes before multiply. So let's do the x plus one by x plus one. So I have x squared plus x plus x plus one. Let's tidy up nine x squared plus 6x minus 3 is less than or equal to 5 by x squared is 5x squared. I add them together and I get 2x by the 5 will give me 10x. 5 ones are 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is bring everything to one side. Okay, so I'm going to bring everything over here to the other side and tidy it up because I can see a quadratic forming. So 9x squared plus 6x minus 3. When they move over to the left hand side, they become minus. And I've less than or equal to 0 now on the right hand side. So let's do our squared first. 9 minus 5, 4x squared uh, plus 10. Sorry, plus 6 minus 10 gives me minus 4x, minus 3, minus 5, gives me minus 8. Equals, is less than or equal to 0. Okay, I'm going to divide across by 4, just to make the quadratic easier. Let's factorise it. Split the x squared into x and x. Split the two, split minus two. So the factors of minus two that add together to give me minus one. So minus two plus one or two minus one. So it's gonna be the top line because they are the ones that add together to give me this minus one X in the middle. So minus two plus one is less than or equal to zero. 
I'm just going to come up here now. X minus 2, X plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. X is equal to 2. Um, X is equal to minus 1. Okay, so solve the inequality. Okay, so they are what I would call the critical factors of that sum. I'm just going to have a little look at the at the plot. So what I'm doing here is I'm graphing this quadratic. It's a smiley face. And I know that because the sign in front of x squared is positive. It cuts through the x-axis at 2 and minus 1. And I am wondering, when is it less than 0? OK, so it's less than 0. This is your 0 line. It's less than 0 down here. So between minus 1 and 2, it's less than 0. So my answers to this one are x in the middle is less than or equal to minus 1 is less than or equal to 2. OK, so really important that you know how to do your inequalities. OK, part B then said um, solve the equation x plus 1 over x is equal to 10 over 3. And then part 2, use your answers to solve this equation here. OK, so let's do the first part. Solve the equation. So I have x plus 1 over x being equal to 10 over 3. OK. Um, so that x there is over 1 if you want. So my common denominator here is 3 and x. OK, so I'm going to multiply this side by 3x, this part by 3x, and this part by 3x. And what you'll see then is the x cancels with the x up there, the 3 cancels with the 3 there. So therefore, here I have 3x by x. So 3x squared. The x's here have cancelled, so I'm left with just three ones, which is 3 equal to, the threes have cancelled here, so I have 10 by x being equal to 10x. I'm going to bring him over here into the middle, because I can see a quadratic forming. Okay, so a, a couple of ways you can solve this. You can do 3x and x. So what I've done there is I've got the factors of 3x squared, they're 3x and x, get the factors of plus 3, 3 and 1. Okay, and then it's a plus 3, so I either have plus 3 and plus 1 or minus 3 and minus 1. So it's going to be two minuses because I need them to give me the minus 10 in the middle. OK, if you can't do it that way, you can use the minus b formula. You can always use the minus b formula when it's quadratic and you'll get your two solutions. Or you can, I've done quadratics videos um, earlier this year, you can get the factors of three threes or nine that's going to give you minus 10 and use grouping. OK, so 3x minus 1 is equal to 0, 3x is equal to 1, x is equal to a third. And over here, I have x minus 3 is equal to 0, or x is equal to 3. OK, so there are my two solutions for that, um, for that equation. OK, part 2 then said, use your answers to solve this equation here. OK, so what you do when, when, you're, when you're given this scenario is you compare the two equations. And I see a 10 over 3 and a 10 over th 3 here, which means that these equations must be somewhat related to each other. Um, I can see the 1 over going on here. So in both cases, can you see x is equal to um, 9x, 9 to the power of x? OK, so let me write that down. This is part 2 here. When I'm comparing the equations, let me write that down, comparing equations, x must have the same value as 9 to the power of x. Okay, And it must have, um, 
if we're to use the answers above to help solve this one. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my two answers I got for X being here and here to help me solve this 9 to the power of X. OK, so when X was equal to a third, OK, I'm getting a third equal to 9 to the power of X. OK, um, a couple of ways you can do this. You can do the switch. You can use logs. Log to the base nine will get rid of that. Um, or you can write both of them in terms of three. OK, so I'm, I'm going to write them both in terms of three and then I'm going to do the switch just or, or the logs just to show you what I mean. So to write this as base three, I can write it as three to minus one. That's using the rules of algebra. Write nine to the base three. That's going to be three squared. And of course, it still is to the power of x. I just rewrote nine as three to the power of two. So x, three to the minus one is equal to three to the power of two x. When the base numbers are the same, like they are here, you drop the base numbers and you can let the powers equal each other. Why can you do that? Well, if this is going to be equal to this one, then the only way they can be equal, the base numbers are the same, so the powers must be the same. OK, so I'm going to divide across by 2. So in this one, I'm getting x being equal to minus a half. OK, so I hope that one made sense. Um, could I have done it with the switch? I'm going to delete out this method here now. It's in the video anyway, so you can always rewind to see it. OK, and I'm going to show you how to do it with logs and and. For anybody who's watched any of my videos, you'll know that I tend to use lo logs and indices being the opposite of each other, that relationship quite a bit. I know that if I match the base here and get log to the base 9 of 9 to the power of x, that 9 and log 9 cancels. OK, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So on this side, I'm going to get log to the base 9 of a third being equal. OK, so what did I do there? Nothing more than got log to the base 9 on both sides. Why log to the base 9? I matched it to the base number of the variable that I needed. OK, because I knew they'd cancel and I'd be left with x on the right hand side. So then I'm popping onto my calculator and I'm using this button. OK, not just the log button that sits above cause because that log button above cause is to the base 10. But this one with the boxes allows you to put in any base you want. OK, the log button on its own is log to the base 10. It's built into it because it's the most common log that's used, that and ln. OK, so I'm putting nine in as my base and I'm putting a third in there. And of course, I get um, minus a half. And that's exactly what I'd expect, the same answer as I got when I did it the other way. OK, so from this solution here in part two, I'm getting um, x being equal to a half. OK. And let's do this one. So when, oh yeah, no, that's the one we're just after doing. So that's a third done. Let's do x is equal to three next. Okay, so when x is equal to three, that means I have three being equal to nine to the power of x. Okay, I can do it the same as I did above, log to the base nine of nine to the power of x. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And then on my calculator, instead of log to the base nine of a third, I'm just going log to the base nine of three and I get a half. OK. So half is equal to X. OK, so in this one, I have X is equal to minus a half. And X is equal to a half as my solutions for part two. OK, part three, hence or otherwise, solve the equation log to the base three of x plus log to the base three, log to the base x of three is equal to 10 over three. OK, and you can see this equation again has the same look and feel to this one here. So again, I am going to use my two solutions here. OK, so x is equal to third, x is equal to half. So in this case, comparing 
equations. X is now being replaced with log to the base three of X in this one here. Okay, so when X was equal to a third, okay, I'd have a third being equal to log to the base three of X. Okay, and again, how do I solve these? You could use the switch, no problem at all. Again, I use the fact that indices and logs are the opposite of each other. So if I raise this up to base three, I'm gonna get log three and three to cancel. So it's, it's the opposite of what I did here. Okay, but it works in the same way. So raise everything up to log to the base three. No, raise everything up to power three. And I got the three from here. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So three to the power of a third on your calculator. is 1.44. Okay, when x is equal to three, I get three being equal to log to the base three of x, raise everything up again. log three and three cancels. Three to the power of three is 27 being equal to X for that particular one. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.